select the Insert Tooth tab from the right panel. The insertion of a tooth in the correct prosthetic position can help in the correct positioning of the implant and the choice of the appropriate abutment. Adjust the axes by placing their intersection in the position where you wish to insert a tooth type. Click on the Add Tooth icon and select the position and tooth to insert from the panel. The software will insert the chosen element arbitrarily by roughly adjusting its size. Vary the level to modify the size and click on the element to rotate it or move it whatever the display. To proceed with the planning of an implant, select the Insert Implant tab on the right. Position the axes in the correct direction Select the Add Implant icon Select the line and the measurements of the implant to be inserted from the corresponding window and select which elements, drill, sleeves and implant should be displayed. Confirm the level and select the position of the implant from the second window. Select the implant from EVA display and move it to adjust its position. The appearance of a magenta warning triangle indicates the collision between the sleeve corresponding to that implant and an anatomical element provided by the profile of the STL file. A red triangle instead indicates the proximity to the nerve. In the volumetric display, you can also evaluate the axis of the implant in accordance to the position of the previously inserted tooth. At the bottom, you can activate or deactivate the different elements to have a more or less free field. By selecting Add Abutment, you can view and choose the type of prosthetic component on the panel by choosing from various inclinations and transmucosal heights. Once you have found the suitable abutment, click OK. By clicking on the object, you can now move and rotate the implant in a favorable prosthetic position. Click on Add Sleeve to view the sleeve. It is important to remember that the sleeve hexagon corresponds to the direction of the internal hexagon of the implant, useful in cases with angled abutments. The sleeve anatomy collision warning signal will only be cancelled by moving the sleeve from its position by either moving the implant higher or changing its offset. Given the resilience of the mucosa, you can continue without any problems if the collision on the mucosa is minimal. By clicking on the implant in the upper right panel, you can view all the connected elements, such as sleeve and drills. Clicking on the icon in the display, you can rotate the implant and consequently the sleeve as well, 
with the use of various movement functions that can be activated.